also knows kind of what the, what the goal is. And we have no intention of opening up the historic preservation ordinance or rethinking uh, the historic preservation ordinance or historic districts. But as we have added new historic districts in, we can see that uh, there may be some ambiguity in the language, and so we want to come in and, and tighten up the process for uh, the uh, approval of the districts. There's some other things on the table too, right? Uh, I mean, maybe not wholesale changes necessarily, but not, not just about new districts, right? So some would affect the, you know, the day-to-day -day operations. It, it really, this is, is more about process. I mean, the, I, I want to make sure that people don't think we're, we're rethinking historic districts or having a historic preservation ordinance or the you know, no means no protections. But we've had the ordinance long enough that we can see yeah, you, that might be confusing, or mm, maybe we ought to uh, add a little, a word or two here so that, that, that it's, uh, when, it, when something is written by people who understand what they're trying to say and uh, doesn't always get there, uh, we want to make it uh, as much more customer friendly as we can. Yeah, and is that, was your envision these changes lessening the, you know, the contentiousness? No. Or the, okay. <laughs> No. I mean, the, the contentiousness comes from uh, you either believe in having a historic preservation ordinance that does not allow demolition and does prohibit uh, property owners from inappropriate alterations in that historic district, or you, you don't believe in it. And uh, that, that disagreement is not going to go away. We just don't want uh, folks to argue about things that are immaterial and we can simply fix with uh, some minor language tweaks so that, you know, instead of people coming down to council, people who don't like the ordinance coming down to the council saying, well, the postcard should have said uh, this was a survey instead of a ballot, we can focus on whether this is a district that uh, deserves preservation, it has historic significance, and uh, should, be, uh, should be brought under the, the ordinance. Madam Mayor, can, can you tell us more about the agreement between the City of Houston and the Harris County Sheriff's Office for the Internet Crimes Against Children? The Internet Crimes Against Children program has been going on for a couple of decades. Uh, we, all areas of law enforcement make a high priority uh, of crimes against children, but it becomes more and more difficult to police that as so many of our kids are allowed unrestricted access to the internet and sexual predators lurk on the internet and, and uh, lure our kids in. And so this is simply a continuation of funding. We're not launching a new initiative. We, we received a new, a new tranche of federal funding for our existing initiative and we have to continuously adapt and innovate because technology changes so much. And uh, we we're happy with, happy with our working relationship with the Sheriff's Department on that. Thank you. Thank you.